minutes, we are hearing from a local rabbi after words and symbols of anti-Semitism were scrawled all over this historic site in Hull. WBZ's Katie Brace is live tonight outside Fort Revere in Hull. Katie? Liam, anti-Semitic and racist graffiti found throughout this historical site dedicated to freedom. Community leaders tell me they will not let intolerance win. It's one of the only places you can see three lighthouses. The view is beautiful from Fort Revere in Hull. What was found inside was not. Anti-Semitic and racist messages spray-painted throughout the historical site dating back to the Revolutionary War. I think this is obviously not indicative of, of a town that's, that has a lot of pride and a lot of decency. For years, graffiti has built up here, but the new hateful graffiti has been painted over. These were some of the 20 different messages and drawings found on the walls and ground after the weekend. Police think the vandalism happened between Saturday and Sunday night. I feel like a lot of, you know, the kids in um, this area are kind of like disrespectful and do things for shock value. It just uh, produced a visceral reaction of, of uh, disappointment and, uh, and fear. Rabbi David Grossman recently took the lead at Temple Beth Shalom in Hull. I think we have to really see this as an act of, of um, alienation and uh, negativity. Investigators say many of the hateful messages had this next to them, a sticker showing a woman with a purple face. They hope that help leads them to a suspect. We're, we're better than that, you know, so shame on them. And tomorrow morning at 1030, Rabbi Grossman will lead a gathering right here to promote healing and unity. For in live in Hull, Katie Brace, WBZ News. Katie, thank you.